I wasn't always healthy. If you've watched my channel, you know I was close to 300 pounds before, but I like to think that I'm pretty healthy now and a big part of my life is using nutritional yeast. Maybe you saw that video of mine where I was dumping a bunch of nutritional yeast on asparagus and then mixing it up and eating it and talking about how good it tastes to put nutritional yeast on asparagus. Well, I don't just put nutritional yeast on asparagus. I eat it straight up from the carton sometimes and I put it on all kinds of things. The point is, it's a superfood. It's a superfood whether you're keto, whether you're paleo, whether you're vegan, whether you're intermittent fasting, it is a superfood. So we're gonna break down, first of all, quickly what it is, but then my five favorite benefits of nutritional yeast. And honestly, there's dozens, but these are the five ones and the five reasons that I consume nutritional yeast pretty much every single day. Hey, I wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon so you never ever miss a video. And then after this video, I want you to check out Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store and I've been able to put together my own types of boxes there, my own types of uh, grocery boxes. So keto boxes, fasting boxes, hormone optimization boxes, so that you don't have to do a bunch of legwork. You know what Thomas would recommend at Thrive. It's pretty darn cool. So they're membership based, so they have one month options, three month options, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, it's cheaper than the grocery store and you won't regret it. So check them out after this video. Now let's get to the science of nutritional yeast. First of all, Nutritional yeast is simply made, but it's pretty unique, okay? It's made from a single cell organism that ultimately is grown on molasses, which sounds weird. So it's harvested off of the molasses and then it's dried. So it literally is a yeast, almost like a fungus, but not really a fungus, different category. It's a yeast that's then dried and exposed to heat, so it's deactivated. So it's not really alive, so vegans consume it, so it's not really an animal product, although it is kind of alive because it's a yeast. Anyway, that's kind of a gray area. The point is, because it has so much just bioavailability and because it was at one point sort of this living yeast in a way, it has a lot of power. So let's talk about some of the things that it does. The first one, okay, it is powerful for your thyroid when it comes down to selenium. Extremely high in selenium, and selenium is hard to get unless you're eating Brazil nuts or you're eating a bunch of canned fish. Now, I like to get my selenium from canned fish generally, but I also get it from nutritional yeast. So here's the cool thing about selenium with the thyroid. Okay, your thyroid produces something known as T4, right? Well, we need this T4 hormone to turn into T3. Well, in order for it to turn into T3, it requires selenium in the liver. So if we don't have selenium, we don't actually elevate our metabolism with our thyroid. So very, very important stuff. But selenium does one other thing with your metabolism that's critical. It neutralizes hydrogen peroxide. Now, you think hydrogen peroxide, you're probably thinking just that brown bottle that you have hanging out under your bathroom sink. And that's true, but we actually create hydrogen peroxide in our body and it inhibits thyroid from really being able to do its job. It stops thyroid in its tracks. Well, guess what? Selenium stops the hydrogen peroxide from really ever growing. It neutralizes it. Powerful, powerful stuff that quite honestly is greatly discredited. It's not talked about a lot. People just kind of poo poo it. Anyhow, let's move on to the next one, which is zinc. Let's first talk about men and then talk about women with zinc. Zinc is imperative for testosterone function. If you want to create testosterone in your body, you need zinc essentially as a cofactor. Now, a study that was published in the journal Nutrition back in 1996 found that when they took older men and they supplemented them with zinc, they gave them zinc, they found over the course of six months, their testosterone levels, their serum testosterone levels doubled, 2x. Okay? Now, in that same vein, they took a look at men that had deficiencies in zinc. They started decreasing their zinc intake. Well, guess what? They had a subsequent decrease in testosterone levels. Zinc is required for testosterone. And for you ladies, zinc is required when it comes down to releasing an egg. So if you're having an issue with maybe irregular periods, you don't know why, it could be a zinc deficiency. Why? Because zinc is being shown to be responsible for releasing the egg to some degree. So really, really powerful stuff. But now let's talk about men and women with the metabolism and why I still take nutritional yeast in all the time. Okay, it has to do with the hypothalamus and the receptors for your thyroid. Yep, the thyroid once again. Okay, because the hypothalamus has receptors for the thyroid. So when the thyroid sends its signal out, if we don't have zinc, the hypothalamus can't receive that signal and can never trigger the thyroid to release thyroid hormone. There we go, we're left with a slow metabolism. Now, let's talk about this next one. This one is wild, this is total biohacker nerd stuff. So if you're here just for weight loss, that's great, but I think you're gonna find this thing really, really interesting. Beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are a specific polysaccharide, but the cool thing is nutritional yeast is loaded with them. So what is a beta-glucan? A beta-glucan is something that activates 
our entire immune system, every immune cell. Now, for those of you that are science nerds, you might be thinking for a second, well, isn't activating our immune system a terrible thing? Why would we want to do that? Why would we want to make ourselves sick? Or doesn't that sound just like chronic inflammation? And you're right, it kind of does. But when we have an acute spark of all the immune cells to small degree in our body, it gives us sort of a quick flash of being able to kill off pathogens and bad things. So imagine your white blood cells for just a short amount of time saying, wait a minute, we're just going to surge. It's like a quick ability to just fight off things that are bad in the body. Beta-glucans are powerful things. And here's some science to back it up. So there's a study that was published in Medicine and Science and Sports and Exercise. Took a look at 23 firefighters. And they chose firefighters because they're exposed to so much in the way of toxins and smoke that they have a tendency to get upper respiratory infections a lot. So they were a great case study in this case. Well, they gave them beta-glucans and some they gave a placebo. Well, it turns out those that had the beta-glucans ended up having 23% less in the way of symptoms when it came down to getting upper respiratory infections. Meaning they basically didn't acquire URIs nearly as much as those that didn't take in beta-glucans because their immune system would get those flashes of activation. So a quick shot of nutritional yeast on your asparagus or a spoonful of it might just be what you want to do. Now let's get back to fat loss for a second. Chromium. Chromium is cool stuff. Why? Because it's one of those other really just really freaking cool minerals that does interesting things in your cell. Here's your cell. Your cell needs to receive glucose. Well, if your cells don't have something known as GLUT4, then they can never receive the glucose. So basically what happens is inside the cell you have GLUT4 and it comes to the surface of the cell to receive glucose. Well, if that GLUT4 is just hanging out, it's like never coming to the surface, glucose doesn't enter the cell and your blood sugar goes nice and high and you become insulin resistant. Well, guess what? Chromium, which is very prevalent in nutritional yeast, activates GLUT4 so it comes to the surface. Another reason, makes it so that your blood sugar drops so you have lower levels of insulin. So if you're keto, then heck yes, you want to be taking in chromium and no better way to do it than in a whole food form. I recommend chromium supplements all the time, but if you can get it from whole food, all the better. This next one is total nerd sauce here. Okay, this one is nicotinamide riboside. Now, sounds complicated, big fancy word once again, but it's really cool stuff. Here's what happens with nicotinamide riboside. It is a precursor to nicotinamide adenide dinucleotide, also known as the fancy acronym that you see, NAD+. Okay, so that NAD+, is the thing that we're talking about. And this nicotinamide riboside is a precursor to that. So taking in nutritional yeast creates more of this NADH, or NAD+. But what is it exactly? Well, it does this. When we create energy, we have what's called the electron transport chain. Basically, electrons get transported and passed along until they're into the mitochondria and ultimately creating energy. If we don't have the electron transport chain, we don't create energy. But electrons need to be carried by something, and they're carried by NAD+. So it's kind of like this. I want you to envision this. You have um, a string of houses that need to get packages, and every single house on the street needs to receive their package in order for uh, energy to ultimately be created. So it's like you want to throw a block party and every single person on the block needs to receive a package for the block party to actually happen. Well, if one person on the street doesn't get the package that has the cheesecake, then it's not a party. You don't have the cheesecake. The point is everyone needs to get their package. Well, NAD plus is the mailman. Okay, so NAD plus is delivering those electrons, delivering those important packages so that everyone gets what they need. Well, if you don't have the mailman or the mailman is sick, he's going to deliver slow and he might miss the building and the energy just isn't created the same. That's what's happening inside your cell. So it's more like enhancing it to make it more like Amazon Prime versus UPS Parcel Select or something like that. Point is, very important for energy manufacturing inside the mitochondria. So studies are starting to show that high levels of NAD can also trigger what are called sirtuins. The activation of sirtuins end up helping with anti-aging. You want to feel younger, you want to look younger. Sirtuins, Sirt1, Sirt3, these are all super, super important. So it has a big, powerful effect on our DNA. And then lastly, when it comes down to this, also stimulates what's called mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, here Thomas goes with all his fancy schmancy stuff again. What that means is it's the replication of our mitochondria. If energy is made in the mitochondria, wouldn't it make sense that we want fresh, new, and clean mitochondria all the time? Yes, we do. And that's exactly what mitochondrial biogenesis is. The replication, the recycling, the rebirthing, the daughter cells being created of mitochondria so that we can create more energy. Well, it turns out 
that nicotinamide riboside has a direct correlation with ultimately helping with that. So it's all simple. Sure, it looks like some just vegan product that people use and just it's kind of this hippy dippy stuff, but honestly take it from me. Put that stuff on your food and it tastes good and you get a plethora of different benefits and I think you're gonna be pretty darn happy with overall just how you feel. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel and if you wanna grab some nutritional yeast, Thrive Market does have it down below. See you soon.